done and uh, extraction of NSE price is done. So here I am exactly you know downloading uh, you know next uh, part two as I say. So it is my um, part two video programming. So as I as you can see uh, you know uh, I am trying to download and uh, you know convert those into CSV file. Okay, so I am exactly downloading this uh, CSV file from Yahoo. Okay. So exactly I've done this programming and uh, something I've just commented out. So basically I just go step by step. So just let's uh, get started as in the first basic I just uh, you know explain everything. So in this thing I'm just uh, you know uh, show you how to download CSV file okay from Yahoo and exactly those CSV file how to read it in uh, you know charting through in say in say graph okay. So how it be how you can handle that and uh, how you can do charting. So let's get started. So already I have done. So as you think last time I've just told about how to you know extract those prices. Uh, as you can see as you run you can uh, see all those uh, open low high prices and all with adjacent close. So here I am trying to convert this into in a uh, NSC file. Okay, so I'm just adding df dot to underscore csv nsc dot csv okay so if i just run this program i'll get a file name nsc dot csv file name saved with the extraction of from you know uh, prices from 2000 to 2017 of nsc in nft prices so exactly just i just uh, save this one as i have uh, done programming i just show you how it gonna uh, get done okay so i just run this one so if I'll run this program, yeah, so basically as I think uh, I just got downloaded this file. So I just uh, show you where exactly I have downloaded. So let's uh, see. Yeah, as you can see, uh, nse.csv. Okay, so this file is there. And as you can see, there is uh, data is available from, you know, uh, 2007 exactly I think uh, nifty has been started from where and up to like you know 2017 I have been extracted the data okay so it's a uh, well and good for me so it's uh, as you can see everything is I uh, have downloaded uh, from the wow uh, you know open high low close volume edges and close so as you can see you know from the price of 4518 and this suggestion close is there so around in and around the price was that okay so and um, as you can see the volume you, you know has been like you know adjacent close has been you know increasing and uh, lots of uh, data as we can see it is uh, pulling over so uh, you know money is actually you know going on through this uh, you know prices and all so we can see that one so our downloading nse file is been done so next uh, i just uh, have done one more thing uh, so just i know just want to you know uh, basically i want to read csv file and um, you know basically i want to plot uh, graph okay so i just uh, comment out those things which are not required uh, for me only i have to you know uh, read this uh, those nsv file uh, say CSV file and I have to plot the graph so I just uh, comment, out, uh, comment out those another things which are not required okay so let's uh, three. so let's just uh, comment it out comment it out everything which is not required So from this we can actually can download and for another thing like uh, I have to plot a graph okay so basically I have to uh, read this uh, say NSC file and then I have to plot a graph so I think uh, I need this one to CSV basically uh, I just want to read this uh, CSV file uh, okay I think I don't need this okay basically I have only have to read 
so this is actually uh, to read csv file so df pd dot read csv and nsc dot csv is my file which i've downloaded so parse states is equal to so dates whatever it is so it's, it should be true and this column should be started from the zero okay so this is should be done and the next for like you know reading if i said i am reading this one it can be done from this one so you can try one more like you know uh, this is working or not so i just say print df dot head and i just uh, if i just save this and i if i run then actually in my shell i can see those uh, you know files will be there so some you know particular files will be there since i have not mentioned so but uh, particularly it has been covered so 2007 it has been covered okay so it's a good well and good so it is going on so as you can see uh, so this part has been done so i think uh, you know as i can see the reading part is done now i want to plot a graph uh, uh, say i want to plot a graph so what i say is like uh, df dot plot okay df dot plot and plotting has been done now next is like i want to show the plot so whatever it is if i just save and if i run the graph should be uh, visible for me okay so as you can see you know uh, as i can see the graph is visible for me and uh, further i can go for it like you know for manipulation as you can see it is a very good so further i can extend wherever i want to go like you know check how it is like you know uh, how it is available and then open high low close so adjacent close is uh, very much in you know uh, as you can see it's a very much in huge in data so as i can see we can see these things very clear in view and if i like zoom basically if i'll go with the zoom and particularly if i like you know want to go with this graph you know where exactly you know adjacent close is there so i just wanna you know this is a particular volume okay so i just wanna go with like you know adjacent value particular i just want to select this particular so as i can see this you know volume has been moved on uh you know as i can see okay so this is the basic stuff you can do in this uh you know manipulation can be done over and over okay and then next uh let's close this thing okay just kill it and uh, the plotting is done now uh, i just want you know to uh, only visible like you know adjacent close i want i want only adjacent close okay so i just go with like you know i mentioned that adjacent close i just want to you know plot graph only like adjacent close so i just uh, go with it with the adjacent close okay and just i just save it and i just uh, go with the running by pressing f5 and next i will say c so i've just plotted a graph and as i can see i have seen this adjacent close okay only the adjacent close value okay so it's a well and good as you can see it's uh, good for me and uh, for plotting a graph and for reading csv files i can do all those steps all those stuffs so let's just uh, you know basically if i want to print those open uh, and uh, low uh, data which i want to print and i want to exactly uh, read this one so just uh, okay so let's uh, just save it and i want to this open low i want to read this file so let's hit f5 and let's see to read this data so as i can see i can read this data also and uh, same time i can uh you know uh see uh, visual data in uh, part of uh, like you know uh, graph also so i can go with these things and uh, i can plot any graph and head here i can mention like uh, how many you know rows and columns i want i can go through this and if i'll save and if i just run okay so so many data are there as i can see i can visual uh, you know visualize and uh can so see th see through this and can can compare okay guys uh, i winded up here thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe and upcoming videos uh, will be there on more on like you know python programming basically in finance 
so for like you know basic uh, thing is has been done here and next time just you know uh, some you know manipulation will be there and you know uh, so some graph will be there for you know manipulating this one so whatever graph i like i want you know candlestick graph or i want so i will be plotting all those things okay so for that please do subscribe okay